Adam Bierman, Princeton TV. I'm here with uh, mayoral candidate Paul Perez. He'll be on the May 13th, 2014 open uh, primary uh, nonpartisan to be mayor of Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, Perez is a Trenton native raised on Market Street. Uh, dropped out of Trenton Central High School, joined the Army, uh, completed his formal education there, and in the course of 20 years became somewhat of a soldier, statesman, uh, security, and, should I say, logistical expert. And now, why has Paul returned? You have very uh, uh, impressive accomplishments. Why now? Why Trenton? Why mayor? But let's be honest, somewhat of a dysfunctional city in crisis. Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me here tonight. Uh, uh, I've, I'm often asked the same question, why now, why Trenton, why mayor? Uh, and then it always comes after talking about my background. Uh, I'm very proud of my accomplishments throughout the course of my history and my career. Uh, and, and the reason why I came back to the city is because I, I like to go away from that and say, I'm number 11 of 15 children. And when you take that number and you multiply it three times, uh, you have a very high number, let's say 45. Uh, there's 14,000 students who are failing in these schools right now. Not all of them, but most of them. Uh, they're not receiving a quality education. Not all of them, most of them. Uh, and when you talk about that number, some of the members that I just talked to you about who are family members of mine are included in that number. We also have a city that has a high rate of unemployment, about 16,000, let's say. That includes members of my family. Uh, you also have a problem in the city with uh, drugs, alcohol, crime. Uh, my family have, has been victims of those crimes, drugs, and alcohol. Uh, so when I'm in Washington, D.C., working in my, my uh, senior executive position and uh, living a good life, I think about how can I contribute back and help my family? Because it doesn't matter how high or how well I do. Uh, how can I help them? How can I give back? And uh, looking at the uh, complexity and the scope of the issues facing the city and knowing that I possess the skill sets that would probably best fit what we're facing now, I'm here to serve. Well, that's what I want to say. We're dealing with, should I say, uh, uh, entrenched bureaucracy. Some people are uh, somewhat mercenary in their approach to government job. It's to enrich themselves. Uh, we have inner city incoherence. Um, we have gangs and everything. What Say, wh how would you define success in the first six months for a Perez administration? What would you do to galvanize people and change public opinion and say that you're on the right track? Well, I think the first thing that I would do in the first 90 days is, uh, is, in is inclusion, engagement, uh, transparency, and decision-making process, uh, understanding that what the people really need is structure. So, uh, and that's a lot. Because what does that mean exactly? You know, assessment of the current uh, operations of the municipal municipal uh, business processes, ensuring that we get a return on investment quickly for our, our people, uh, uh, better services, uh, meaning utilizing the resources that we have uh, to uh, keep the city streets clean, uh, help the police police, uh, you know, uh, engage the school systems, find out what exactly it is that we need to uh, get key kids back engaged. Uh, and keeping them interested in the classroom. Uh, there's a lot to do within the first six months, but I think uh, what, would, what would equal success for me is that we have a community now uh, moving in the right direction, and then we also have uh, created a platform uh, that would, or conditions that would uh, allow businesses to flourish, uh, and then people understanding that Trenton is open for business, and to do business with the city not necessarily with the mayor. Uh, that would be a big change. Also, a, a true advocate, someone who's really going to be talking on behalf of the city to get people in here interested and in knowing that we're serious, uh, that we're competent, that we're honest, and that uh, we're looking after uh, the best interests of our people. On that note, what do you, what is this, what do you look at? I don't really still understand pay to play. Maybe you could explain it. What, what do you have to say about uh, other candidates and their positions on that? Well, pay to play uh, is very, very straightforward. It's just it's a it's a elect law uh, that uh, instructs candidates on behavior when it comes to uh, soliciting or receiving uh, uh, contributions contributions from people or or contractors businesses currently doing business with the city of Trenton. They're very clear on that. 
Uh, they have a, a restriction on how much money you can receive and how it must be reported. And if you surpass that, it could then disqualify that company or a business from doing business with the city. Uh, some of our candidates are still having uh, a hard time understanding the rules. And uh, even when they're informed about those rules, uh, they have a hard time making a good, sound decision on what they should do next. Uh, if they're having a hard time uh, when they're being told, uh, when it's in writing, when it's clearly in their face or their path, uh, in making that decision, uh, you know, I, I tend to question their ability to make sound decisions when they sit in the seat as mayor of the city. Would you want to give any names about any candidates you feel that are not maybe towing an ethical line? Well, I wouldn't give any names. You know, why, why would I give any names? The, these guys know who they are. Uh, and, and that's the seriousness of the city. And that, that's why the city, the city really needs to uh, pay attention to what we're doing. You know, the city is a city that's really, really exhausted, fatigued. Uh, you know, they're tired of people uh, not doing the right thing, but trying to hold those kinds of uh, uh, rules against them. So set the example. Lead by example. Segwaying to that, you know, uh, I've always been told cities, they want, you, want, you want safety, you want cleanliness, you want good infrastructure, good schools. With your background and expertise, and, and how would you use the social sciences, say like, America, like a, a Chief Kelly did in New York City, to deal with crime, uh, to, to encourage more uh, better housing, to, to get more employment? Uh, any specific plans? Uh, mental health in the city of Trenton and social services in the city of Trenton is definitely a challenge. Uh, Trenton has a long history of, uh, unfortunately, having people who are either homeless, indigent in the street. Uh, and those include people who just had a hard time and lost their job, and veterans who have come back and have not found homes, or families who have gone bankrupt because of the bad economy. Uh, so having services available to them that would reinforce positively uh, their need to continue to, to seek out these services so that they can get back on their feet it is going to be major in a, in a Perez campaign because everybody counts. So you can't do it without uh, engaging uh, people who are going through uh, problems or creating some sort of uh, springboard platform or baseline office that they can go to and receive the services properly so that they can know uh, what's out there for them to get them back on their feet. With that said, though, um, money's going to be very important. Trenton's always had his hands out. What about Governor Christie, who's still going to be our governor? Would you want to re hit the restart button with him? Do you think you could have a beneficial relationship? And that would be smart government. You know, smart government equals your ability to align yourself with the other levels of government. Uh, you can always find a way to find a negotiated best interest. Uh, we don't necessarily have to agree politically, but we do have to agree that it's in the best interest of the people. So, yes, I would push the restart button with uh, uh, Governor Christie uh, uh, because my interest is the people uh, and, and only the people. Uh, so if, if Governor Christie requires uh, a vetting process, I'm open, I'm available. He can check my background um, if that's a requirement. I'm not worried about that. If Governor Christie wants to sit down and engage in what we can do together to make Trenton successful, uh, then we will. And, and I'll be ready for that also uh, with making no demands, uh, but doing it in a professional manner uh, with all due respect and with the best interests of the people in mind. Uh, this is one question I got from a Trenton High student. He goes, what programs can you instill today that will guarantee, not guarantee, but give a chance to have a good living wage for a, a Trenton High graduate in the future and possibly in Trenton? Do you have any specific plans? Well, every time you get a question like that when it, when it involves youth and, and uh, engagement and education, uh, you have to be cautious about what new plans you want to bring in. Uh, there are a lot of old plans that are in that have not been effectively implemented. So we would have to really go back and see what currently exists. Uh, have they been effectively implemented? Uh, what can we do to increase the excitement about those programs uh, that would probably lead to, and people throw this around all the time, vocational skills uh, versus academic skills, uh, some sort of art program to get them excited about arts again, uh, giving them uh, an ability uh, to participate in athletic uh, uh, possibilities. So all of the old basic 
uh, uh, programs that are used in order to keep kids or children um, interested in going to school. You know, you, not everybody goes to the NBA and not everybody goes to Juilliard. But those are the type of programs that keep kids coming back to school and eventually graduating and obtaining a skill that would then prepare them uh, for a future that they can at least begin and bounce from. I have to ask this in our waning minutes. Your Rolodex is pretty impressive. Colin Powell, David Petraeus. Will you be calling on some of these heavy hitters to come in with their expertise to help you rebuild this city if elected? Well, I, I would look forward to. Uh, you know, I can't guarantee any any single one uh, major name, but I can tell you that the Rolodex, and that's an old-fashioned term, Rolodex, right, uh, would be definitely uh, exercised. And I hope to use all of my reachback capability to, to help this city, because in the end, that's what it's about. Uh, can we bring people together who are going to see the same vision and help lead this city into a new direction? I guess I'd add one more question. Uh, there was a famous story when um, Eisenhower, for those who don't know, became president. Truman, who didn't like him that much, said, ha, this is not the military. You, you just can't order something. It's going to happen. You're a military man. Mm -hmm. Top to bottom, you have structure. How are you going to deal with some of the ambiguity in, in this bureaucracy, in a government? In a, in a government? Uh, true leadership, it doesn't matter whether it's private sector, public sector, or the military. Uh, it all boils down to interpersonal communication. Uh, knowing your people, knowing your audience, uh, treating people with respect, uh, and being, being a man of your word. Uh, that's why this city is so important. This election is so important. If we have people who can't do that, then they need to take a second look at themselves and, you know, respectfully move themselves out of the way. Well, this has been Adam Beerman for Princeton TV with Paul Perez, candidate for mayor of Trenton, New Jersey. Thanks.